Is it the right time to make a decision on buying or selling Fisker stock? That's what we'll be exploring in this video. We initially released a report about Fisker on our website on Tuesday, January 9, 2024. Now, we're back with an even more comprehensive analysis to give you a deeper understanding. To stay up to date with our latest analysis, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. It's essential not to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at StockyInvest.us. With over 25,000 companies worldwide, you can tap into the power of artificial intelligence to receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis. Lastly, please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Starting from January 2, 2024, our system has identified Fisker as a strong sell candidate, with a score of minus 5.62. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. The stock witnessed a significant decline of minus 26.38%. This equates to an average daily loss of minus 4.40% since it was classified as a strong sell candidate. The stock is currently in a falling trend, presenting a potential selling opportunity for short-term traders. It is expected to react back towards the lower part of the trend. However, if the stock breaks above the top trend line at $1.21, it may indicate a slower falling rate or a possible trend shift. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a projected minus 82.18% change over the next three months, with a potential return between minus 100% and minus 82.03%. On the other hand, the 12-month trend suggests a minus 44.62% change over the next year, with a potential return between minus 45.45% and 157.33%. This translates to a price range of $0.655 to $3.09 after 12 months. In our latest update on Fisker, we have an important headline to share. Fisker stock price ended at $1.20 on Tuesday with no change. Let's dive into the details. On Tuesday, the 9th of January 2024, the price of Fisker stock remained steady throughout the trading day. It fluctuated between a low of $1.13 and a high of $1.22, experiencing a 7.96% fluctuation. However, overall, there was no change in the stock price. It's worth noting that the price of Fisker stock has fallen in 6 out of the last 10 days, resulting in a decrease of minus 17.81% over this period. Taking a broader view, over the past 52 weeks, the highest price the stock reached was $8.67, while the lowest price was $1.13. Currently, the stock is trading at a significant discount. It is 86.15% below the 52-week high equivalent to $7.47, and a striking 96.25% below the all-time high on March 2, 2021, when it reached $31.96. Today, we'll be discussing the analyst ratings for FSR. On Tuesday, November 14, 2023, Needham gave FSR a grade of hold with a corresponding action of hold. Similarly, on the same day, Raymond James gave FSR a grade of market perform with a corresponding action of hold. Moving on to Monday, February 27, 2023, CFRA downgraded FSR and assigned it a grade of sell with an action of upgrade. On Wednesday, November 30, 2022, Evercore ISI gave FSR an outperform grade with an action of initialize. Lastly, on Tuesday, November 15, 2022, Morgan Stanley rated FSR as equal weight with a corresponding action of hold. Analysts have given Fisker stock a general neutral rating. They rate the P-E ratio as a strong buy and the price to book as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts give the stock a sell rating. Today, we will be discussing the signals identified for Fisker. On Monday, January 8, 2024, a buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point. Since then, the stock has fallen by 0%. However, there are indications of a further rise until a new top pivot is found. 
Additionally, a buy signal has been identified from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. On the other hand, there have been some negative signals as well, which may have an impact on the near short-term development of the stock. Both short and long-term moving averages suggest a negative forecast for Fisker. Furthermore, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals, where the long-term average is above the short-term average. If there are corrections upward, the stock may encounter resistance at $1.44 and $1.64. However, a breakup above these levels will issue by signals. It is worth noting that volume fell during the last trading day while the price remained unchanged. This could be an early warning, but it's important to pay attention over the next couple of days to monitor any potential changes. Today, we'll discuss some interesting signals that you should pay attention to in your trading strategy. First, let's talk about the moving average convergence divergence. It's currently showing a buy signal. Another signal to consider is the pivots, which gave a buy signal two days ago. The Bollinger indicator is also worth noting, as it provided a buy signal 83 days ago. On the flip side, the short-term moving average gave a sell signal 6 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average indicated a sell signal 59 days ago. Additionally, the relation between the short and long moving averages generated a buy signal 62 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart to gain further insights. The short moving average signaled a sell 6 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average indicated a sell signal 58 days ago. Furthermore, the relation between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 51 days ago. For more signals and analysis, visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today we're going to talk about the support, risk, and stop loss for Fisker. Let's start with support. Currently, there is no significant support from accumulated volume below today's level. This means that if the right conditions align, the stock may face a decline in the coming days. Moving on to risk, Fisker is considered to be a high-risk stock. It exhibits a high level of volatility, meaning it can experience significant price movements during the day. The Bollinger Band, a technical indicator, also indicates a large prediction interval for this stock. To give you an idea of its recent volatility, in the last day, the stock moved $0.0900 between its highest and lowest point, equivalent to a 7.96% change. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 10.41%. Before we discuss the potential trading levels for Fisker, let's go over some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company is either experiencing losses or has negative earnings. Even well-established companies face downturns, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may indicate insufficient profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for February 26, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for the earnings per share stand at $0.200. These figures can have a significant impact on stock prices, so it's important to keep an eye on them. Today, we'll be discussing potential day trading levels for Fisker. If the stock follows an upward trend, the first resistance level for Fisker is at $1.33. If you don't currently own any shares, it may be wise to wait for the stock to surpass this level before entering a position. However, if you're already holding the stock, this level could be a consideration for swing trading. It's important to note that there isn't significant support from accumulated volume below, which means the stock could potentially experience a sharp drop under certain conditions. It's crucial to proceed with caution, especially if you're not an experienced trader who is familiar with navigating such situations. The average rating for Fisker from multiple analysts is neutral. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On January 5, 2024, Hickson Mark E made an insider buy of 7,695 shares of Class A common stock. On January 5, 2024, 
Zookly Mitchell made an insider buy of 7,695 shares of Class A common stock. On January 5, 2024, McDermott William R. made an insider buy of 7,695 shares of Class A common stock. On January 5, 2024, Gruel Wendy J. made an insider buy of 7,695 shares of Class A common stock. On January 5, 2024, what Nadine I made an insider buy of 7,695 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is negative with a ratio of minus 9.128. Overall, insiders have purchased 2,733,778 shares and sold 3,667,772 shares in the last 100 trades. Unfortunately, we have a negative evaluation for this stock and it's worth noting that no stop loss has been set. Is Fisker stock a good buy? Unfortunately, Fisker holds several negative signals and is currently experiencing a wide and falling trend. This suggests that it may continue to perform weekly in the next few days or weeks. Therefore, we have a negative evaluation of this stock. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price of Fisker stock is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, January 10th, we expect Fisker to open down $0.0167 and start trading at $1.18. Before we dive into the content, it's important to remember that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. To make informed decisions, we strongly recommend consulting with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. Keep in mind that StockInvest.us provides information but should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you accept full responsibility for your investment decisions. Welcome to our stock analysis. Today, we'll be discussing our current view on this particular stock. We're eager to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below and share your opinion. What target do you have in mind for this stock? Remember to like and subscribe to stay updated with our future videos. We hope you have a successful trading journey and a wonderful day. Best regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.